Hello guys, it's a great great pleasure to have a chance to post in this video. Today's video is about design library. If you don't mind, I'm asking you a question. How fast will you make a single casing spool or how much time will it take you for a make a, to make a single study block or a single crossover? If you love to watch Harry Potter series, I guarantee you, you would love to see this video because the video I wanted to show you in a few moments is about magic too, but this is the real magic. I would love to compare my design library power as same as Expecto Patronum in Harry Potter. As you know already, Expecto Patronum is the most powerful spell in Harry Potter series. For me, design library also the most powerful feature SOLIDWORKS ever had compared to the other compared to the other feature from SOLIDWORKS okay I don't want to talk any further I would just like to show you how the design library works I have made sample sample for today's video where I have uh, made a casing spool with 13.58 10k flanks bottom into 11 inch 10k flanks top come with two of 116 10k side outlets with an autoclave port for someone involved on designing and the drafting team would understand how these sizes will take time to create we have to make sketch from zero to hero to make a 3d model and convert them later into the machining drawing if you have design library all the all you need to do is drag and drop all feature you need only a single point, a face, or a plane. As simple as that. For the flanges uh, in my design library, I made all the sizes as per API 6A. And I classified them as, uh, as for the pressure rating. On design library, we could make them as a configuration too. Hopefully I have chance to show you another powerful SOLIDWORKS feature like configuration. Let's begin now. Now I select 10k pressure rating and I just drag my selection and drop it on the face where I would like to put the, the features. Once I drop the selection, a new screen will pop up and it will allow me to select a configuration since I made this design library as a complete size as per API size. But you could make them uh, with a single size too. It's up to you, it's your, your choice. And after selecting the correct size, in this case 10 inch, I would need to select a single point. Please note, all selection option are really depend on uh, really depends on how uh, we make the design library itself. I mean this design library as simple as possible way. Even if someone not expert in designing, will easily to use this design library. And finally, I have to select a face. The face could be outer diameter or inside diameter, as long as cylindrical and same axis with the flange where we will place it, it will be fine. And now, voila, it just happened like magic, right? As I promise you. And for the next size is the 13.58 10K bottom flange size. We have to do same. Uh, we have to do the same way as the top steps. Select the pressure rating. Select the size. Select the face and expect to patrol them. And now we move to the side outlet. We need to change uh, the selection from the flange type to the studied type. As I classify them exactly the same as per API 6A. So I won't be confused to pick a size and it's clear what I pick, a uh, flange type or study type. We need to do, uh, we have to do uh, the same way as the other steps. Uh, as the other steps I mean but after changing the types uh, to study type of course uh, select the pressure rating drop it on the face where, where it 
do you want it to be placed select the size and select face and expect to patrona finally let's go to the last feature which is uh, an auto clip port for auto clip port i made a separate uh, for the auto clip that will be put on the cylinder face and flat face since now we using a cylinder face i would select the cylinder face for the flat face we'll show you later for auto clip port, only face and a single point will be required. First, change selection uh, to the auto clip. Pick the cylinder face, pick a single point, and expect to patronum. See, guys, how easy and how fast and how happy we are if we have a design library, and how much time we could save if we use design library. And I'm really happy in this video. I have chance to show you how design library how design library looks like and how it works. Please, your comments regarding the video today. Please ask me anything if you have any question regarding this design library. See you in other video, guys.